Hello YouTube, Hyruleans, followers and friends. I am the Hyrule Historian and welcome back to another exciting episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker Randomizer where I just had to go back to my old intro and as well we are joined by the ho ho guy since apparently it looks like he is looking over at Forest Haven or a platform over there. However, there is also a submarine, it seems. One that we've already been to, though. So we don't really have to worry about that. And we are also joined by Red. All fateful companion. The one that helps us sail the seas. However, we are going to be leaving Bomb Island since today we are going to be collecting a few more chests that requires the Deku Leaf and we are going to be heading to a new dungeon since we have a few things that allows us to get to them and thankfully one of the places we can get to is around Forest Haven and that also is where a, another chest is. However, we are going to be heading to this island here some of you may have noticed this island from the early episodes. And, well, we needed the Deku Leaf to go through here. Yep. And the evil bushes are still trying to take over this place. Yep. Anyways, though, if we had anything else, we can make it up there. And that is where another chest is, I believe. But yeah, we are going to be getting two more chests while we... Ah. Uh, okay, that's a weird sound. Don't know if you guys can hear it, but... There's like... I think... There's a waterfall somewhere? Is there a waterfall? Not for what I can tell, but... Man, that sounds... You can get on your nerves kind of quickly. However, we need to make it up here. Where our friend the Deku Baba is. You know, I guess they needed a better name than just Deku Plant. Since they reverted back to Deku Baba. Actually, I think the, the name Deku Baba, this is probably where it's first known at. Because also, anytime I think of a Deku Plant, I think of it being connected to the Great Deku Tree somehow. Oh, thank you. We have arrows. However, I think we'll max out on arrows. Ow. Blue. Focus. I still question the... I still question the combat system here. However, we need a Deku Sick. Light it on fire. Jump up to the higher platforms because can't aim. And I feel like I've been having these problems because I've been going back to Breath of the Wild lately. And there's just, you can actually aim a whole lot better in the, in the, in the newer titles. Anyways, once we can make our way here, we can grab this chest and then we can make our way to Forest Haven and actually visit with the Great Deku Tree. And speaking of the Great Deku Tree, the Koroks! 
uh, he's pretty much explaining what the others say is that we need the spring water to allow the Deku tree saplings to grow. And we also got another chart, which we've actually collected one in the last episode, which actually did have a Triforce piece. Uh, trying to figure out which way to go now. It's always disoriented for me. And there's one thing that the compass still does not help, especially when my mic is covering up the compass at the moment. So yeah, if you kind of hear me being a slightly louder, that that's kind of how close the mic is. But now we are finally at Forest Haven. Hello, Deku Baba. But anyways, we have finally reached Forest Haven. Um. Okay, that's awkward. You know, they're kind of like Venus fly traps if you think about it. I always thought they were somewhat interesting, but you know, I, I don't want a man-eating plant. Or, in this case, a blue-eating plant. Uh, since we don't need the cell at the moment... Oh, no, no, no! Seriously? This is really how we're gonna start everything off. Also, it's been a little while, so I'm trying to get used to the buttons again. Thank you for auto-aiming. Glad this shield came with it. Do I really need these seeds for anything? I forget. That Octorok should know better t to eat rupees. No, wrong button. I'll take his heart, which sounds slightly disturbing. However, Great Deku Tree! I have returned! I have missed thee! And I have completed your tasks. He wanted us to be a mailman. The mailman that serves justice. The mailman that delivers justice. In the most unexpected ways. Who knew the great Deku Tree needed the champion of justice to be a mailman? Or a male woman? Okay, so thankfully we have made it back up here, and we can now finally make our way to... Where does this go? Does this go any... There it is. So, I think we need to make our way all the way over here, because then we are able to make our way to the island that has a chest on it. There it is. The Great Treasure Island. Honestly, I thought Treasure Island looked a lot different. But I'm not complaining. Did Treasure Island ever have a giant tree? I honestly have never watched it or seen really anything much about it. But, um... Yay, we made it! Yay! Was it worth it? 
You tell me. Grant me power! I need... I need magic! Now it's time to head over here where the obvious arrow is. So if you ever get lost, you can look for the obvious arrow, which is not that obvious, unless you are looking at it from the sky. And it's an arrow made of grass. And there it is. The next dungeon. And, interesting enough, we don't have to hit a switch. There's a switch that you normally need to hit to activate the whirlwind. The little tornado. I think I timed this slightly wrong, but thankfully we had enough height. Destroy the evil bushes! And now it's time for the waiting game. So while we're playing the waiting game, to make it to our destination, I've actually been looking at a few buildings to make me a better office and stuff, and I was wondering what type of videos do you guys want to see? Any Anything different? Because I've been looking into how to improve on editing and whatnot and... Hmm... But looking for a better way to edit and trying to just learn a few new tricks here and there. And I'm actually interested to know what you guys think about this. Because once I do get the new office, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more recording and whatnot. And hopefully some of the video quality will become better. And as you can kind of see now, there is a little bit of a change when it comes to my videos since this... I, I normally don't have these layouts for this type of video, normally full screen, but trying to make it where you guys can see the tracker and at the same time the gameplay. But what will lie within this dungeon? What dungeon will it be? The Tower of the Gods. Who knew the Tower of the Gods? Who knew the Tower of the Gods would actually be next to the Great Deku Tree? Why did I pull out the sail? That's a good question. However, there is one thing that may hold us back. And that is, we're going to need the bombs at some point. Also... One thing that you guys may have heard about this when it comes to the Tower of the Gods, this is the one dungeon that requires a lot of patience. Also, comes with a lot of interesting mechanics too. Um, blue, lay it down, place it down, don't throw it. I honestly do not know what Blue is thinking. I know how to deal with you. <laughs> Our first yellow chew. Multiple ways to solving this puzzle. However, that's the one thing we did not need to do. Ah. 
Seriously. This is going to be what the whole episode's about. We don't... These little cutscenes don't really help. Yay! We created the Rainbow Bridge! Which normally needed the other sages, but still... We shall now place the... Uh... We shall now place the magical artifact to lower the gates and then slowly make our way to the next area. But yeah, I wish they would add more dungeons where you can use the boat because I feel like that was one thing that could have been improved on. Especially I understand like within Phantom Hourglass there was a few ideas there but I wish you would be able to do more things with the boat. And honestly when it comes down to it I wish there would be more things within like these puzzles since the main thing that is needed is just patience and yeah you're just waiting for the water to rise and lower and we now get to move a lot of boxes and yeah and we're racing against time like such. Also, these boxes are breakable, as y'all seen. So... Come on. No blue. But anyways, the main puzzle here is kind of straightforward. Deku stick, light it on fire. Jump to box to box. And hopefully you don't fall into the water. Evenly spaced. Hope so. Because we only get a few tries and all based around time. Yay, this is exciting content. I give it an A+. I like the other puzzle better. Make a rainbow bridge. Okay, attempt number three. We have succeeded. What lies within this chest for this freaking boring quote unquote not puzzle? Yeah, y'all have fun here. This is a, this is one of the most pointless rooms in the entire game. Come on, Red, time to move it. Yep. See, guys, this is what patience will do for you. If you have the patience, you will succeed. And if you don't have the patience, practice, practice, practice. What does that have to do with patience? Absolutely nothing. Um... Can we do this room? Uh, nope. Well, this was fun. So guys, because we have come across a slight issue I believe we will end this episode off for now and hopefully all of you have enjoyed I will make sure we can get some more progress done in the next episode but it seems like there's only so much more that we can do so 
This has been the Hyrule Historian. Do not forget to leave a like or a comment below. Please do not forget to share with friends. And I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching and later.